Hi, I'm John Lay with Peter Bodo for Tennis.com's Quick Hits. Peter, as we looked at 2009 Women's Australian Open, the big story going into is defending champion Maria Sharapova. Her shoulder feels fine, but she doesn't feel fine about her game. She's not playing. Well, you know, you hate it when the headlines are about somebody who's not going to be there. That's kind of a, a, a bummer. And I really, frankly, I'm kind of puzzled by this. You know, oh, all right, her game's not there. Well, look, hello, Serena's game wasn't there two years either. What did Serena do? She went down to Hobart. You know, she was playing pretty lousy, got into the Australian Open. You know, sort of caught a wave, really got an emotional role. Her game fell together. She won a title. It became one of the big stories of the year. So I, I don't know, you know, who knows what maybe Ramirez is hiding something about that injury. Uh, I don't know, but you'd like to see her out there. So we're obviously going to have a new champion this year and somebody who played exceptionally well last year. We got to number one rankings, Yelena Yankovic. Unfortunately, she has not won a slam yet. Will this be her time? Well, you know, she, she was well positioned at the end of last year to start this year with a real bang. But ironically, you know, she really trained a lot in the offseason. She trained a high altitude in Mexico with Pat Echeberry. And I saw her down at the Nick Baltieri Academy a couple of weeks ago, and she was kind of joking around to everybody, including Nick, about how big she'd gotten. She's not accustomed to being so strong and big. Well, it turns out she pulled out of Hong Kong early in the year before the Australian Open, claiming she didn't feel that she had her usual movement, that she felt a little muscle-bound kind of. So now that throws it up in the air. But yes, with that surface and with her retrieving ability, I think she's going to be a top contender. Two players who are always contenders are Venus and Serena Williams. Serena's won this tournament a couple of times. Venus, surprisingly, is yet to win it. Of the two, who do you think has the better chance? Yeah, you know, it's funny about the Australian Open. Some players really go down there and really thrive on it. They just gobble it up. You know, Steffi Graf is a good example of that. Serena's a good example of that. Venus, by contrast, as you mentioned, John, you know, hasn't really won there yet. And sometimes that really presents problems for people who, who aren't comfortable on the surface, you know, who maybe find the heat a little bit tough to deal with and the change in conditions. So when you look at Serena's history there with that great run she had there two years ago, you gotta, you got to give her the nod over Venus. Someone we haven't mentioned yet is last year's finalist, Annie Ivanovich. She's won a French Open title, but she hasn't won Australia yet. Like her, who else has got a shot to win their first Australian Open? Well, you know, it's funny you mention Ivanovich because she's got an awful lot on the line going into this year. You know, she's sort of fell off the radar a little bit, maybe choked a little bit, succumbed to the pressure of being a number one ranked player and also having won a first slam. So she's got a lot to gain by winning here. But there are a number of other women who are going to make her life pretty tough down there. You've got Safina, who's kind of on a roll, playing better razor, razor game to another level. You've got Elena Dementieva, you know, who's got, who took the Olympic gold medal last year on a similar surface. You've got Yankovic, of course, and world, you know, the current world number one. You know, and let's not leave out Svetlana Kuznetsova. She's always nibbling around the edges of the semis and the quarterfinals and stuff. And you know, this might be one of those times when Kuznetsova actually manages to take advantage of an opportunity. It wouldn't be surprising because in Australia everything's unpredictable. Well, that wraps up Tennis.com's Quick Hits. I'm John Levy with Peter Bodo.